So let me just start by talking about higher education. Somebody came up to me a moment ago and said he's a first time voter, uh, as many people are here, and what is Labour what has Labour done and what is Labour uh, going to do? Well, so far as what we've done, what I invite you to do is to look around here, because what has happened for this college campus, all these new buildings and much else besides, has not happened by accident. Five years ago, the general election, I made what I thought was a slightly rash promise, a bit of a wing and a prayer, but I said that I would work as hard as I could for a university to begin here in Blackburn. Well, the university is directly behind me. Uh, it's getting fantastic results. I'm very proud of the fact that Blackburn College Higher Education Centre, University Centre, is associated with one of the best universities in the country, which is the University of Lancaster, because it's really, really important for people who go to the University Centre in Blackburn that they come out with a gold standard degree. One is on how people are treated regardless of their race or religion, or indeed uh, their, their gender or sexuality. All right? I'm very proud of the fact that we put our principles of equality into practice by bringing forward legislation to ensure that people, as far as possible, have to be treated equally, regardless of their race or their religion or their sexuality or their gender. And that we are the only party who's ever done that. Barbara Castle fought for equal pay for women. Uh, she fought, I mean, it sounds extraordinary now, um, but we got a photograph in the office of, of her campaigning outside a women's lavatory because women used to have to pay to use public lavatories. Uh, men did not. I mean, it's an outrage. But also for equal pay for uh, equal work and to ensure that women had same, the same opportunities, which thankfully more and more uh, they are now doing. Um, we were the, it used to be the case, Mr Cameron the other day said on television he wanted to get back to a time, back to a time when immigration was no longer an issue. I'm sorry to say my memory is very long. There's never been a time when the Conservatives had not sought to make immigration an issue. They did in the 60s and they opposed legislation to say uh, that it was offence to stir up racial hatred or use unpleasant language. And I haven't made this up, their candidates uh, in the, some in, in the West Midlands in, the, in, the, in 1964 were going on a slogan, if you want a N dot 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 for a neighbour, vote Labour. You could fill in the gap yourself. It was horrible. There used to be notices up saying, uh, lodging houses, again I've not made this up, saying uh, lodging houses, vacancies, uh, no Irish, no blacks, no dogs. All right? It's outrageous. And the Conservatives said it's free speech. We said that there are limits to free speech and that's one of them. The fundamental difference is our belief in equality. And equality does not mean treating everybody the same or regarding everybody as the same, far from it. It means respecting everybody's differences regardless of their background, their race or religion. But above all, saying we live in a society which may be fairer than it was, but is still less fair than it should be. And people, whatever their background, whatever their income, have a, a right to fulfill their dreams. We couldn't talk about people fulfilling their potential, it's actually about fulfilling their, their dreams. Uh, lots of things. First of all, to ensure that there is good support for manufacturing industry and the, the, the firms that are providing the labour in the area. How, do we, how have we been doing that? How will we do that? Not least through what's called the Regional Development Agency, which is a business-led agency using public funds. We're going to keep that going. It's invested in lots of firms in Blackburn. I'm not going to name them because it, it's private for them if they get grants from the RDA. But I, I promise, I can tell you privately, uh, small firms and also, this is public, firms like uh, British Aerospace uh, and Rolls-Royce get this assistance. Really important to get good jobs in the area. Um, and just so you know, because this is a choice, this election, the Conservative Party are planning to abolish uh, the regional development agencies. Secondly, to invest in education, because I, I know that, that there are sometimes difficulties about graduates getting jobs, but the simple fact of the matter is, the better qualified you are, the better able you are to get a job at any, at any, le any level of unemployment. It's just true. So you, you're doing, you're, you're really, I mean, really helping yourselves by being at college, getting a job, and the number of unskilled jobs is dropping dramatically through automation. Thirdly, 
by what we call the Future Jobs Fund, uh, which is in the manifesto because it's about the future, quite a lot of money to ensure their support uh, specifically for those who are under 25. If they're out of work for more than six months, they get re real and tangible help with education or, or training or, or a job. And also, if they're out of work over 25, they get help uh, too. The plan is to turn that into offices uh, for the town hall. Um, there's quite a good property developer who uh, owns that and also the old court building. And what we're trying to do is to get a redevelopment of the whole area. Um, and one of the things I was trying to do, it's been deferred now, was to get money for a new courthouse so that the um, old higher education centre, which is just up there on Duke Street, would be dropped, we put a court there, and then we develop the uh, area of the old police station and courts uh, and the Cotton Exchange. It takes time. As um, and, and under this government, there's been money available to assist local authorities in areas like this to help to subsidise developments. We've done a lot of, uh, like that. Uh, as commercial property prices go up, we'll be able to do more. Um, how do you think that went, Jack? Did you think it was a success? I think so. Um, it's up to uh, other people who were listening whether they thought it was a success. Um, these meetings, which are entirely impromptu, absolutely nothing stage managed, um, very much depend on the weather. Um, and I've been doing them now for uh, 27 years. Um, and if the, if the weather's all right, you get a big crowd. I've just done one in Accrington, uh, where the, the rain had stopped uh, and there was no wind around, so I had a very big crowd. Um, but I think people, my judgment is, people value it, because they say there's not absolutely nothing stage managed about it. People can ask me anything they want, and I do my best to answer. Um, a local girl just got number one in the charts, down a bit too. So how do you think that reflects Blackburn now? Do you think that's added Well, I think it's great, is the answer. I um, mean, you know, she, you know, she got it by... Uh, winning the X Factor uh, competition Is it a couple of years ago. Um, yeah, um, and it's fantastic. And this is a great town and a great area. Uh, and one of the, the biggest problems people face is talking the area down. Or, you know, and still, I still get very angry when people think that this is all people wearing shawls and clogs and dark satanic mills. It's nothing like that. And I was saying to someone yesterday that I take people. I see myself partly as missionary work. I take people to the countryside in my own constituency uh, around Whitton Park, which is uh, in the River Darwin in, in that uh, little gorge and think around Weaver's Way. It's a fantastic area.